Hashtag ask an idiot. Hashtag ask this an idiot. This is a segment we do where you know you can ask us uh, two brilliant idiots anything. Yeah, so we got... Okay. Um, okay. Okay, Captain Levi uh, just asked us, what's the worst situation you've been in as a man? Like, what situation was so crazy it changed you? Charlemagne, tell about that one time when a girl put her finger... In your ass. That was enjoyable. Um, Let me see. That changed you, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, I got a few of them, man. I mean, it was a few things that changed me. Like, you know, I remember one time I was uh, I was pissy drunk. Pissy drunk when I was like 17, 18. Maybe I, I might have been like 19. Pissy drunk. You know, I used to drive in this Lumina caravan, and I just finished fucking this chick, mm-hmm. cheating on my girl, left this hotel, almost got into a wreck as I'm leaving the hotel, the guy knocked my mirror off, so the girls started driving. And um, we made it to the girl's house. I jumped back in the van and said, I'm going to go to the studio. I drove to the studio. Nobody was at the studio. So I said, fuck, I'm just going to drive home. So I drove home, made it to my house, all the way from Charleston, North Carolina, South Carolina. Went to sleep. The phone rings like 20 minutes later. It's my dude, uh, A-Rab, who's dead. God bless the dead. It was his father who's dead. God bless the dead, Ricky Birch. And he called me to tell me that the block was jumping. I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to go get some money. Drunk as hell still. Grab my capsule of crack, put it in my fucking pocket. Jump in the Lumina Caravan. Drive. I get like a mile away from my mom's house. I just lose control of the motherfucking van. I go up this hill. The van goes airborne and literally wraps around the tree. I mean, wraps around it. So I didn't have a seatbelt on. So I flew out the back. The only reason I didn't die was because I didn't think. I, think of the, how ironic this is. Only reason I didn't die you didn't have is because I didn't have a seatbelt and because I was God so damn. drunk, I was numb, so the impact didn't kill me. So I go to this door. I, I saw it was this. I crashed right in front of this dude's house. So I go knock on the door, ask him for help. Dude comes to the door, and literally looks through me like he goes, "Holy shit, somebody's dead." I'm like, "Yo, I'm right here." He Runs out the back door. He comes out. He was like, is the body in there? So I'm looking at this shit like, holy shit, am I fucking dead? So then, you know, the ambulance shit come. The police come. Mm-hmm. My, 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 my mom pulls up. She's crying. My, then my father comes 10 minutes later. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm in the ditch. Like, I'm right here. Nobody's paying me no fucking attention. Only person saw me after a while was my mom. They was like, is he dead? Where's the body? And my mom, I mean, they screaming. I'm like, yo, I'm right. I had to go up to my mom and grab her. Like, I'm right fucking here. So went to the, I went to the hospital. Wasn't nothing really serious. Maybe they were just hoping. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Maybe <laughs> like, yo, if we believe it, he'll just die. <laughs> and then we don't have to worry about him fucking all the girls in Monk's Corner and selling crack. <laughs> so I, went, I, went to the, I went to the hospital. Nothing was seriously wrong with me. They wanted to, they, the, 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 the cops said the only reason he didn't lock me up is because he'd never seen nobody walk away from an accident like that.